Hey guys, uh, welcome to Emily's Robotronics. I'm your host Emily for Emily's Robotronics.in. And uh, in our previous video, we saw the unboxing of the package that we received from Element 14. And uh, uh, one of those, uh, one of the con contents in the package was this uh, Raspberry Pi board. And uh, yes, we will be doing an unboxing and a review of this board, this Raspberry Pi. So just a brief uh, history about a Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi is an open source hardware platform which is basically a computer on chip. I mean a computer or I should say a credit card size computer. We'll, we'll see the details when we are doing the review and uh, Raspberry Pi is distributed by uh, two companies one is element 14 and the other one is rs so i'm not sure about the other one and uh, what uh, i found was uh, the the one the package that's distributed by element 14 uh, costed less than what was uh, quoted by the rs and uh, this package is directly delivered from uh, us so element 14 thanks for that thanks for bringing raspberry pi to india and i've uh, i've been waiting to lay my hands on this board and one more thing I should say was uh, when I placed my order, I was told that uh, this would be uh, shipped. Uh, this would take about three to four weeks to uh, back order them, get them in stock and then distribute. So uh, four weeks is what they had uh, earlier told me, but I received it uh, in one and a half week. Element 14, the price is quoted somewhere about 2750 so the shipping was uh, 200 indian rupees uh, for the entire uh, package that i heard so if you have uh, anything to order i suggest you order uh, uh, multiple items in a single uh, order so that you can save amount save your money on your uh, shipping and uh, let, let us just quickly open it and see what we have inside there's no seal or anything as such which uh, says that this board was never been opened so just you need to trust them trust on uh, these people that uh, trust and hope that uh, this was not opened by anybody else and uh, there you see the instruction uh, instruction manual and it's just one uh, slip which contains a lot of uh, information so I'll uh, probably read these for later and let me just open up and see the board itself Okay, we don't have anything else in the board, so I'm going to keep that, uh, keep the box aside. And there it is, our uh, very own uh, chip, that's the Raspberry Pi. Let me just quickly open it and see what we have uh, inside and how the board looks like. Our uh, Raspberry Pi board and uh, there's a b the raspberry pi b model that i ordered and uh, the difference between a and b is uh, onboard ethernet and uh, i'm not sure what else was missing in the original uh, raspberry pi model so the original raspberry pi uh, costs you about 25 dollars and uh, this is supposed to be um, 35 dollars if you're uh, buying it directly in us but uh, the shipping charges adds extra and uh, the, pr the price of this board sold in India is 2750 so that's for the B model let me just quickly brief you about the contents that's on this board and uh, and and so on so the first thing that you would notice is this chip down there so that's a Broadcom SOC ideally it's supposed to be Broadcom but I see that uh, the chip is manufactured by Samsung yes there you see it is uh, manufactured by samsung so i believe the the layout designing is done by a uh, broadcom and uh, that's been uh, handed over to samsung for uh, manufacturing them and i need to uh, really check on that if uh, this uh, board i mean if this is a original board or uh, or the boards that are delivered to india are uh, equipped with the samsung chip so I'll, I'll check on that and I'll update uh, in my in later video when we are doing a uh, uh, hands-on on this board and uh, going next going forward uh, there you see this RCA connector so you would be plugging uh, this board to your TV so this is basically a TV out 
and uh, you can uh, plug this uh, plug your uh, TV to this uh, using this connection and on the other side you have an HDMI out and uh, again we will you'll be using this uh, port to connect to a TV which has a HDMI uh, input and uh, moving on to the other side you have a Ethernet port so and uh, you have uh, two USB uh, 2.0 uh, connection jacks and uh, what else do we have I think there's a chip for uh, the Ethernet not really sure uh, what it actually is and I believe uh, that is for the Ethernet and uh, here we have uh, audio out audio out pin so we don't have an audio in so I believe uh, we won't be able to uh, connect a mic to it so it'll, it's just the audio out that uh, we would have on this board and uh, other minor components that you would see probably this is the voltage regulator and the filter capacitor here and uh, this is a terminal to connect uh, your board uh, to I mean, you can this is a, a port to power your uh, board uh, using the USB uh, cable so you can use a micro USB to USB cable and plug uh, uh, power this board uh, using the cable and what do we have here uh, these are uh, the GPIO ports so general purpose uh, input output uh, pins so you can use this to interface with, with uh, an external uh, device and uh, I'm not really sure what this uh, connection is and uh, with respect to these two one of these is for a camera and the other one is to interface uh, it to a TFT LCD so that's all I know about it but I'm not really sure which one is uh, which of these connectors is for uh, is for what so I'll leave that uh, there and uh, uh, there's another uh, chip down here I'm not really sure I think it's an LM uh, it's a triple one seven I guess it's an voltage regulator again but I'm not really uh, sure on that and there's a, a diode I think there's a uh, voltage regulation come I should say a reverse polarity protection circuitry here and uh, what else we have we have some LEDs down here about uh, one two three four five LEDs and we have we do have some uh, uh, resistors SMD all SMD components and going to the bottom side of the board we do have some uh, I think these are crystal oscillators so there are two different oscillators probably one is for the Ethernet chip and the other one is for the main uh, SOC and uh, what do we have here this is a, a connection to uh, this is a connection for your uh, SD card so you can use a SD card adapter here to load the OS and load and uh, run the OS so I'm not really sure about uh, using this board I, I have been following the videos on YouTube and uh, I really thought this was a very interesting device and wanted to lay my hands on and start programming and start uh, working on projects around this board so that's the main reason that I ordered them so probably it would uh, take a couple of weeks for me to uh, get a hang of uh, using this board and uh, later on I'll share all the videos that I uh, video sharing the work that I would have done around this so whatever I'm gonna learn uh, with this board I'm gonna share it across so people who are interested in Raspberry Pi please subscribe and uh, please follow the videos and yeah that's it for that's it for this uh, episode thank you guys uh, thanks for watching if you really like the video uh, do a thumbs up that will help me in a lot of ways and also subscribe and uh, if you feel that i should do something in a very different way or uh, you should if you want me to change something please leave your comments below or if you have any queries regarding this board you can leave it under comments so but i will be only able to answer them once i have a complete hands-on on this board so thanks guys thanks for watching stay tuned uh, to know to see more uh, unboxing videos thank you